know, everything's overwhelming. You don't know the right. patients, what's allowed, what's not allowed. But th that you say that, it sounds familiar. That couple, because that's the couple that I seen that I ran into when he was at Victoria Post. And the lady got very angry when she seen me because I'm not going to let nobody take advantage of him. So, How do they know him? Those are friends. He's 86. Okay. He's been here over 50 years. Okay. I'm 58. He's been here for 50 years. But they're like friends, not family. Yeah, they're friends. They're not family. It's just like me. I'm extended family. But his yeah. sister Deborah, she's in Texas. So Deborah, I'm Deborah eyes and ears. Okay. And Deborah know I'm gonna document everything and make sure everything is going in decency and order. But there's other people got to be involved because somebody coming up here because for him to have liquor. Yeah. Um, and them like, Uncle Timmy, why would you throw a liquor bottle in the trash? That's evidence. Right. <laughs> we have it in our bedroom because we can't throw it out because it's evidence. I said, Uncle, you can't be what is you doing? So it's a matter how he got that in here. Yeah. yeah, because I know his condition, and there's no way that I'm going to take him and allow him. He's a grown man, first of all. But still, I know his condition. He's on medication. He got and antibiotics. I don't think he, he knows got enough for, at this point in his life to make that decision for himself, like, healthy. Like, he knows, like, this was part of my past, like, whatever, and he's a grown man. But I don't think he really understands some of the consequences That's, with the medications he's on. Ex and I've explained that to him, and me and his sister know that. So our job is to do, prevent. It's called preventative forces, preventative right. action. And that's the goal. But we got to from from the simple. He doesn't lie. He'll tell the truth. He tells the truth. He'll sell like it. You know what? I, I really appreciate that about him. Like, I, he will tell you, like, bottle? I'm not going to tell you who brought it for me. But he won't be like, oh, no, that's not mine. Like, yeah, right. Like, oh, he's going to own up to it. He's like, you know what? I didn't have a party. I just had some drinks. That's mm -hmm. all I had. There was no party up in my room. <laughs> because you know what he said to me just a couple of weeks ago? He said, oh, um. People got to understand, I've been drinking for over 55 years, which I know is more than that. He said, I've been drinking over 55 years, and, and I, I need just a little nip to take the edge off. They don't understand. And I'm like, I understand, because you know when you're coming from addiction, it's like yeah. me, I'm fighting with nicotine. I'm yeah. and that's the drug. And so I understand his position. So, you know, when he got the little outlet and stuff, because he rolled with us on two occasions. Now, honestly, Uncle Tippy could escape me because it was a few times he was out of my sight, but he was with other friends. With Mel God, they was talking, having a good time. Now, how he got a pint of liquor past me, he was doing the slickster stuff. <laughs> and that's if he got it that particular day. You understand know what I'm saying? So I was concerned because when Deborah spoke with me, she said they found the pint, an empty pint in the ba in the basket. I'm like, because he had a hunger yesterday. What? Where are you going to wait? <laughs> you, I feel like I'm gonna be in my pizza in smoking section. Let me go whoop on him. But you know, he's the um, the dementia. I can see that dementia yeah. is coming and going. Because when when the hurricane passed by Beaumont, he was so so. He was like, what am I? He, he started pacing back and forth, and it's like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I said, don't worry. You know, if anybody with your cell phone, they'll mark safe. Right, right, right. You know, and he was like. But that's where I grew up. That's where all my family's are. What am I going to do? The house is in. He was on that TV. I mean, on it. So his mind is going back and forth because that's what Deborah was saying. And I was saying that when he was at Victoria Post. I'm like, he shouldn't be left alone. You know, he, you know he'd make a decision. But he's making a decision out of dis disparity because he wanted to get out of there. His goal was to get home because he wanted to drink. And that's why the neighbors really wasn't concerned. They figured he was drunk and took some alcohol and was knocked out. No, he was in there dying. And no one checked him, so he needs someone to care for him. And not no one to come and take him out to the nursing home to get him alcohol. Yeah. You know, but if he um, gained access to it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I, I don't promote it. Yeah. I wouldn't promote it. But she just said that. She told me about that couple. She said it came to her memory. Because that couple was in um, El Cajon. They took him in the parking lot. It was a light-skinned lady with a dark-skinned man. Because the man never speaks. I don't know. I was walking by. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know it's somebody else coming up here. Somebody got to be. But we got to, we're going to get it under control. We're working on stuff now, Precious. Oh, All right. Hi. You a social worker? You a social worker? I am. Are you with? Humphrey? Okay. Yeah, how you doing, Precious? Nice to meet you. You too. Um, I was concerned about my... The extended family, uh, Wayne Thibodeau, and they said they found a pint of liquor in, a, in his room. Yeah. So I was concerned was about in the room. Yeah. See, I it, to speak to him about that. but you know, he said, "I'm at home. I'm at home." So he, you know, and I think it's dementia. 
because he, you know, he wants to be home. And we work, me and his sister's working diligently on right. a better environment. Right. We got approved for everything. It's just a process because he's Section 8, so they got to right. do the inspection, blah, blah, blah. So I'm working on getting that uh, expedited as soon as possible. Uh, he said it was his friends. There was, like, these two gentlemen that come in. He mm -hmm. said they brought it. Two gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I would like to know. So I know it's something. Cause see, I'm not gonna promote it. Cause I know he got all that right. infection. I found him in the condition, and, yeah. and then I see him so really too. good. Yeah. And so, but meanwhile, he's still on antibiotics. Antibiotics and alcohol don't mix, mm -hmm. and it kill the antibiotics power. Right. And you know, I know the rules. So somebody else is visiting because he took some money right. out yeah. the bank, and I was looking through his pockets for the kids to see if there was some keys or maybe. If y'all have any keys that he has put up, maybe I can, ask can, can you ask? Cause we need the mailbox key, and I don't have seventy dollars to replace the key. And so, um, with that being said, um, when I was looking in his pocket, there was only a twenty dollar bill in there. He had more money than that. He hasn't even left to go get money. Okay, no. When we took him out, cause we had to get bank statements for him to get the unit approved, cause I couldn't get social security information. So we took him to the credit union and they gave us the statements. We had to get, we got four months bank statement that proved that he had a consistent income. Everything got approved for him. One second. Okay. Right okay, I'm going to go to the parking lot where he's at. I have to record everything because I don't know what's going to jump off next. Help me, God. This is a bit much. <sighs> I need a cigarette too, honey. Yeah. Uncle Tippy, you were just been oh. doing everything. Yeah. Smoking in the room. Yeah. He told her that last nurse said she said I love him because he tell the truth. She said he don't deny it. He just if he do it, he, he said you breaking rules. You breaking the rules. Uncle Tippy, why you want to break the rules? I told him I said he said this is his home. So if this is home. I can't do what I want to in my own house. When the rules say you know, we can't put me out. That's exactly what's happening to me. They're trying to put me out so I can't do what I want to do. I can't even get back in the house. <laughs> They're trying to put us out there. They don't want us to even get established. That's my cigarette that I need. But that's okay. We all good. So what was you doing? 